from our temple, but quite many are new enthusiastically serving this temple and increasing the congregation more and more. I was here almost a year ago. So since then, I'm coming here and seeing all of you there. It's a very pleasurable thing that I'm here. So I will be speaking about Srimati Radharani. Just two days ago on Friday, we had our appearance day, which is very auspicious. So you might have heard about her from devotees on Friday. Uh, but anyway, I will continue and describe different aspects. So we'll just sing Jai Radha Madhav. Jai Radha Swami Prabhupati, Santa Koti Vaishnav Rundaki, Naskan, founder of Charis Divine Grishila Prabhupati, Nama Charishila Hridas Thakurki, Rame Sekha Ho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadaga, Shri Vasadi, Gona Bhakta Rundaki, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopu Gopina, Sham Kun Radha Kun Giri Gordhan Dhamki, Shri Vrindavan Dhamki, Radhi Dhamki, Mayapur Dhamki, Jagannath Shetra Nilachal Dhamki, Varsana Dhamki, Raval Ki, Shri Mati Radha Rani Ki, Samveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki, Gaur Premanande, All Glories to the Summer Devotees, All Glories to the Summer Devotees, All Glories to the Summer Devotees, All Glories, All Glories, All Glories to Shri Shri Guru and Gauranga. So, 
श्रीमती राधा रानी हर अपीरेंस सो ये विकास अब श्री गौरंगा महाप्रभु धरी जो शाम यदि गौर न हो तब एक हो राधा महिमा प्रेम रस सीमा जगते जानकउट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु would not have known the glories of shrimati radha it is he brought the glories of shrimati radha he chaitanya mahaprabhu is radha and krishna combined like you have the vigra of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so one krishna krishna is one but he thought to enjoy and rasobaisa is full of ras full of ananda full of bliss so rasobaisa rasam hevayam labdha anandi bhavati by the taking that ras connecting with that ras we could also become a anandi or ananda everybody is looking for ananda ananda maya vyasa but how we could get that is by joining or connecting ourselves with lord krishna and shrimati radha rani so krishna to get ananda he has to become from 1 to 2 so radha rani is vamangi from his left side radha rani appeared and right side also to enjoy more and more ras because he is anant so he wanted to have relationship with anant jiva soul so he came with so many jiva soul which you cannot even count you could count even the sand particles in the ocean but you cannot count the number of jivas who are there so from his right side came balram ji and from balram so balram is also krishna just a little bit difference his servitor god had radha rani is also god bhagwan swayam just ek and they became two so we will discuss about these topics that radha and krishna are spiritual and transcendental what is transcendental means what meaning of transcendental or transcendence beyond these three modes of material nature three modes that is material and if it is beyond that that is divya or above which is in higher plan not pragolok vrindavan or vaikuntha loka so so they have a pure loving service radha and krishna uh from the transcendental point of view uh, the foolish people cannot understand ava jananti ma mura manushyam tanne maashitam when krishna comes in a form of a human being but foolish people cannot understand his param bhava param bhava ma jananto mama bhuta maheshwara that he uh, so why he descends to this material world to uh, his main reason to come to the material world radha and krishna both came to the material world to attract the conditioned souls conditioned souls means the buddha jiva we are bound up with so many our desires and attachment to the material world so we he want to release us he want to see the spirit, spiritual nature very special nature that krishna comes and he plays his past time past times means just to enjoy uh, not by force like we are all forced by the karma by karma that makes us dance and move from one body to another so because of the karma and how we could get out of the karma by developing relationship with krishna by like coming to the temple chanting his holy name listening to bhagavad gita bhagavad gita taking prasad offering everything to krishna dedicating everything just one time if you pay obeisance to krishna that's almost ten, equal to according to the shastra 10 ashwamedh yagya you cannot perform even one ashwamedh yagya But it's equal to ten or so many India. So we should always come, pay our respect for Omega, Nanda uh, Salam, to Radha and Krishna. Not he's not our buddy. We cannot just say Tata and just go by like that or pay. Yes, but we should go down to Krishna. So he's the main reason, as I said, in the material world is to attract the conditioned living entity back to the spiritual world. When people will hear the sweet pastimes of the Lord, their heart will be cleansed. by hearing you may heard a million times chanting this cleanses your in the heart the dirt has been accumulated from time in memory millions and millions of years one layer after another layer and do not understand that we are part of krishna we belong to krishna we are part means part has to serve the whole jeevan swarup krishna is nitya da but we have serving maya we are serving the material nature through our senses Since we want to gratify the senses, but we could have we have a higher spiritual sense, but we have forgotten that we could enjoy that millions and billions of time more than here. Krishna is waiting for us in the spiritual kingdom to attract us. Not only attract, he is willing to come open-handed, warm-handed. We walk one step, he 
takes hundreds of steps to you and everything what is belonging in this spiritual kingdom is yours to enjoy. Just like father's property can be enjoyed by his son. His son would enjoy his living with him, if he's serving him, he has some loving devotion to the father. Father will do everything. He has to go away. So we, are, so we belong to Krishna and we work so hard to just live happily, but that would happiness is, you cannot compare like a drop in the ocean is not even equal, but we have whole ocean that we could enjoy with Krishna in his spiritual kingdom. So the scriptures describe all this and so many. So serve the Lord as their son, then the Lord also is reciprocate exhibiting. As you worship to me, I also reciprocate. If whatever relationship you may have, there are many, many mellows or five Shantaras, Dasaras, Sakharas, Vasilaras, Madhuras. So we could also, if we have that intense desire uh, in our heart, Krishna will also have intense desire to have reciprocate with us in whatever relationship you want. So, and then there are, so sometimes Krishna exhibits some, like sometimes anger or uh, mistakes or intolerance or dependence on like his mother. Oh, uh, my child would be hungry if I don't feed him. But that is, Krishna does that to attract our loving relationship, to attract our emotions. So Krishna is Bhakta Vatsal, his nature. Uh, so anything like if you see, stealing the clothing, you see playing with the Ras dance, which continued for one day of Brahma, or one night of Brahma, or millions of years, three billion and something. So, but those are, it is his, his douche, uh, those things that water is stealing. People make so many things wrong or think wrong because they don't know who Krishna is. And because of that, uh, they make some accusation on Krishna. That is a thief, he's woman uh, hunter, or, uh, but that's not true. It's a, we do not know the nature of the Lord. And if you hear more and more from pages of Srimad Bhagavatam, Sadhu Shastra Guru, then you will understand his position. So those things are bhushan, not dushan, are not mistakes on part of God. They are the ornaments. So with Radha and Krishna, that loving relationship and other gopis, it bewilders many, many people. But if they hear, like Prabhupada would never say about the Ras dance, like when he was in Surat or somebody that broke or even uh, he was in Punjab, uh, he was told that please describe about Ras Lala. But he says, no, I am not qualified. Qualified means he is fully qualified. He is a Sakha form. Others are Manjaris, other in Guru Parampara what we have. But Manjaris are like 11, 10 year old innocent girls who serves and they are allowed to go in the Punjas also. Punjab means they grow where Radha and Krishna are playing. But Sakhi is Asta Sakhiya, they cannot go in the Punjab where when Radha and Krishna are enjoying. Uh, but they all come, Radha Rani expands into uh, all the queens in Dwarka. Radha Rani also expands in all the Lakshmis with Narayan and uh, Vishnu Tattvas. So Lakshmi, Shastra, Satasavarama, Seve Manam, Govindam, Adi Purusham, Tamam, Ajani. But Lakshmis want to serve and see Krishna, but they cannot join Krishna's Ras dance because of their uh, opulence that she is giving everything. So because of the Aishwarya bhav, she could never give up the Aishwarya bhav and that's why she is not allowed to come. But Lord Shiva came one time and he wanted to enter into the Ras dance. And so Purnamasi, he was advised that see Purnamasi, Purnamasi advised him to take a bath in Brahma Kunda and then come. But still he could not join. But then when Krishna saw him, I go, new gopi, and then he has given him that, okay, you become the protector. Whoever comes to the dham, you protect the dham, so others cannot, like Gopeshwar Mahadev. So he became Gopeshwar Mahadev, but in another places also, uh, that he is the protector of all the dham. Like Bhuneshwar, before you go to Jagannath Puri, or, or Nandagaon, where there is, uh, Krishna is, is playing with his mother and brother and uh, so, but so there is Nandeshwar Mahadev. So there is Mahadev all over and he protects this Dham. Some people of other faiths take advantage of this kinds of activity of God and preach that Krishna is not God or they dare to blaspheme him by finding serious mistakes within the Lord. So people in general are creating offenses by either knowingly or unknowingly. So Radha Krishna Leela is very, very puzzling. It's not like Lord Ram, Ram and Sita Ram, and because his activity are more like 
is Maryada Purushottam and Krishna is Prem Purushottam. He just loving relationship which people cannot understand. They think that it is lust, but let us just talk about that. Uh, so, so for a common man, Radha and Krishna is like a puzzle. Uh, Radha Krishna in our conditioned state of mind, uh, that's what we think. So we cannot understand by our conditioned mind. You have to have cleanse your heart, usually by chanting, by associating with devotees, reading more and more. and so In that way, you could gradually cleanse up, then you could see in the clean mirror who we are and what is our relationship with, with Krishna. Uh, so that will gradually help us to develop faith in, in them. So a spiritual substance is never within the jurisdiction of the material conception. This is always the verdict of the Vedas and Puranas. A prakrata vastu nahe, uh, prakrat gochar. We I have material eyes, so we cannot see that. Uh, and but one who cleanses his heart, then we would understand. So best thing is to just like the sunshine. You cannot see the sunshine without the presence of the sun. But when you have the presence of sun, the same sun, you could see the sun and around him. So same thing when there is a mercy of Krishna, and by Krishna's mercy, then we can see Krishna and Krishna's relationship with other devotees. So sunshine. Sunlight, yeah, you can see the sun. In the same way, only by mercy of God, you can understand Him. Transcendental subject matter does not manifest in the mundane mind. Divya Gyan Hrde Prakashito. So Divya Gyan uh, cannot come in our contaminated brain. Or how much intelligence he may be, many degrees doesn't matter. By the mercy of God, we can understand the truth about God Himself, not by achieving a doctorate degree. So. Janma karma cha me divyam evam yu veti tatvata tyaktva deham punar janma naiti maam eti surjana. One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not, upon leaving the body, uh, he has to take his birth again in this mortal world, but he attains his eternal abode, uh, O Arjun. So he is telling to the Arjun that my activity, janma, is not material. So we will talk about Radhana's janma also. Means Krishna comes in the heart of the, uh, say Vasudev, but really Vasudev and Devi are different. They have become parents by their tapasya. Three times he comes like that. But Krishna is eternal son of Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj. And so if we take uh, Krishna activities are transcendental to the three modes of material nature. So, Prem, Love and Kam are two different topics. Love is especially meant to be used only in case of the unallied loving relationship between the living entities and God. So, Love is Prem, Seva, Bhakti, that's all uh, same thing, Pariyaya, Vachi. So, Krishnendri Priti Vancha, Dhare Prem Nam, if we please the senses of Krishna, then that is Prem. And if you want to satisfy our our senses, then that is lust and calm. Although it looks the same, but one is like a gold, another is not even like a iron or it's just a trash, uh, this mortal law. So I love you so much when we say, but in reality you should say, I am lusting after you so much. Not really that I am loving, but lusting. And in the mortal world it's all lust. There is no tinge of love between individuals, only in the spiritual kingdom. And love or frame, word is reserved for only Krishna. Bhakti is just for Krishna. Not for even, we may call, I am devotee of, uh, say, Ganesh ji or Hanuman ji or so many, but we are not really devotee. There is no devotion or bhakti with them. Bhakti is because we are part and parcel of Krishna and only we can relate to Krishna. His, his son or we are his children. So only we can love Krishna in a, in a real way. So pure love does not mean I love Krishna for my sense of gratification, but rather for the pleasure of Krishna's senses. Krishna is root cause of everything. Sarva karana karana. Ishwara, Parama, Krishna, Satchida, Ananda, Vigra, Anadira, Adir, Govinda, Sarva karana karana. So he is cause of everything. So if we please Krishna, means so that is watering the root, then whole tree, fruits, branch, branches, sub-branches, everything becomes green and nice. So if we serve Krishna, automatically we will be happy just by that serving Krishna. So there is no material formula. You want to become happy, but it is very flickering, very uh, 
it's just a, a temporary and it will it will go away even so if you want because we are eternal the soul is eternal shashwat hamesha ke liye hai so only by relating to krishna we could be happy soul cannot be happy by putting senses uh, on the objects of the senses it, because they are very flickering it will go away so krishna is beyond the influence of the material nature uh, the love of the gopis is called aruda bhav and it is pure spotless it is not and there is no lust at all kama prema yeah, yeah, lust and love have different characteristics just as iron and gold have different natures so discriminate one should try to discriminate between sexual love and pure love for they belong to the different categories they are different from one another the the so <coughs> gopis the predominated gopis were bound to krishna in such pure love for them there was no question of sexual love based on sense gratification their only engagement in life was to see krishna and so they tolerated so many things gopis and why did lok dharma veda dharma family dharma uh, they had to take care of the children they go when krishna calls like he sounds with the flute and he calls the gopis they go at midnight even if they were with their children feeding them uh, they were with their husband they left everything they did not care about what others would think so acts of sense gratification may be performed under the cover of public welfare nationalism religion it is all sense altruism ethic uh, ethical codes biblical codes health directives fructive actions mindfulness tolerance so everything this is all material we may think but all these categories are different subdivisions of one substance sense gratification Uh, it may look that he is a very religious he is serving the country but behind that there is certain sense gratification is there in all these leaders and everyone so no one can sacrifice his personal interest while discharging this much advertised moral and religious principles morality does not count in religion you may say we have to become moral uh, or even we may say that we have uh, varnashram dharma we are following very nicely we are taking care but varnashram dharma the aim is to enjoy higher enjoyment in higher planetary system just like ascending knowledge or gyana so gyan would lead you that let me just merge and become god so merge higher or you may say yoga so yoga people they want to have uh, so many uh, you may say siddhis anima mahima lagima gariba so that yoga is not yoga means when you unite in loving devotional service to krishna love caters to the enjoyment of the lord krishna and thus it is very very powerful uh, so so our only prize to gain love of krishna is lolyam lolyam api ekling mulyam lolyam means lolukta kama na kam kama hi nari piyari jeevi lobai priya jeevita tibi ragunath nirantara vasam hari vasam hriday shri ram just like lusty man always looks for the man to enjoy and greedy man always looks for where is money where i can make money uh, so they will always look in everything making money but same thing that we are praying to the lord that please let me be my mind should always be absorbed into your thoughts and i should be attached to that uh, we should not be mistakenly think that the idea of giving up everything implies the renunciation of duties necessary in relation to the body mind even such duties are not sense gratification if they are undertaken in a spirit of serving krishna so people should not think that i am i am a family man i have to make money i have to take care of the family but if you put krishna in the center and take that that whatever i am doing earning money getting educated having a job going outside bringing bhoga for the krishna or so anything that is you do to please to please krishna to satisfy krishna then it is part of devotion narad muni was once asked to bring krishna and uh, krishna told narad muni in a, that this farmer is my uh, very advanced devotee and narad muni was confused that is all the time he is in taking care of the cows and bulls and farm and what how where he has time to meditate or think of krishna or read his spiritual means uh, bhagavata or anything but narad muni and that krishna said that you bring a pot of oil filled up to the brim and bring through the through the form which is upside down like very rough terrain but he 
Narad Muni was main attention was on that part that Krishna asked me not to spill the oil. So he gradually walks and brings it back. And Krishna asked him, uh, how much did you think of me? Where was your mind? Because my mind was on the part, oil part, not on the, uh, not on you, but because that was order of Krishna. So by order of Krishna or higher authority, if you do something uh, according to the scriptural injunction, then it is bhakti. You should not think that bhakti is esoteric or very, everybody cannot perform. Anybody and anyone who has a little desire, he could, he could uh, serve Krishna. And that is also bhakti. Ateva gopi gane nahi kam gandha krishna sukhi lagi matra krishna se sambandha. There is not a slightest tinge of lust in the gopi's law. The relationship with Krishna is only for the sake of his, his enjoyment. Like you hear about that, that uh, about Krishna created a headache of himself and then he goes to all the, um, that how your headache could be cured, cured just by bringing some dust from the feet of the, my devotee. So Narada is a devotee, he did not think of giving that. Then all the queens in Dwarka, this past time happened in Dwarka. So all the queens, he asked, but queens also refused. That if we put our feet, dust from feet, then we will we may go to hell and we will suffer. How we could do that? It's not possible to give dust from the feet on the head of Krishna. And uh, so he, uh, they, so then everybody, wherever he went to, sannyasis and sadhus and, but when he went to Vraj, and Vraj they respected, oh, you are coming from Dwarka, how is our Lord? Uh, he has a terrible headache. How we can how we can help? Just give the dust from your feet. And they say, oh, that's a just a little, such a little thing. So they spread their sari and put as much dust possible. They rub it off their feet and put the dust. So they did not care. So Narakuni asked that you did not care that you may go to hell. He says whether we may go to hell or whatever it doesn't matter. We want to see that Krishna is happy and his headache is cured. We may go to hell for millions of lifetime. Doesn't matter. Their only aim is to please Krishna, and that is bhakti. So this material world is a reflection from the spiritual world. So it is upside down, it is topsy-turvy. And just like trees, the reflection is on the situated on the water, but it is not real. If there are mangoes you see in the, in the water, and you may jump and try to get it. So that happiness is with Krishna in the spiritual world, not in the material world. Material world, you cannot get the real real thing. So we should always try to asatoma sadgamaya, tamsoma jyotirgamaya, in this place of darkness. And we have to go to the jyotir, means where there is light and knowledge. And it is full of dark. Asatoma, this is asat, means temporary. Uh, temporary word, it just goes away. Sat means, and what is this? Uh, so it's. Uh, so it is absolute truth. We were talking about in the college, in the university, about absolute truth. Or absolute, but absolute truth means it is only from whom everything is emanating. If everything is emanating from Krishna. So he is the absolute truth. It does not diminish, it does not go. Krishna is a child, it is still Krishna, it doesn't. So, so Lord also, so Kiaras and Parikyaras you might have seen, that why Krishna enjoys with others' wives. But that is not true. Really, they are all part and parcel. If a child is fed well enough, and so he is taking bath, he is fed, the child will play and suck on his toes or fingers. Or, but it, there is nothing wrong by his, so his own parts. We are parts of Krishna, part and parcel of Krishna. So if he enjoys with the parts, there is nothing wrong. Also, Krishna and this Radharani, she is automatically, she is part, she is Bhagwan herself. She is not a material personality, so we should not think that how he is enjoying with Radharani in the groves and uh, so in so many <coughs> ways. But that is because Krishna is always want to play and be happy. This material nature, this Krishna never use Vrindavan. Vrindavan paritya padam ekam nagachati. Same thing, Radharani never use Vrindavan. You may see that Radharani had gone to, uh, in the scripture, that she went to one time, Nava Vrindavan in Dwarka. Also like she went to, uh, Kurukshetra, when there is some Surya Gran, but at that time also she, she was there. But it is not Radharani herself. She expands to do this pastime. But she herself never leaves. Same thing Krishna never leaves. Then what about Krishna going to Mathura, or Krishna going to uh, say uh, Dwarka and Hastinapur and what, what it is? Not Krishna, but Vasudeva, son of Vasudeva. 
they go sometimes is 200 sometimes 400 in dwarka mostly 400 the example is pandra he put four hands to become like krishna so he must have the four hand in dwarka but he built the dwarka in only one day uh, that when he was fighting with jarasandha and kalevan and then he transferred everybody from uh, mathura to dwarka so he built a whole city uh, within one overnight and then everybody transferred there they did not know where they are sleeping but then they wake up they see it's a completely new houses new thing new place uh, so anyway same thing ras dance happened for a whole night of brahma and people did not know that so much time has gone by it is under yog maya krishna desire he desires something and it happens by his ichha shakti so he could have because we are we, demigods cannot have the living relation with us you serve them and they rub your back and they give in return but krishna can have loving affairs with each and every living entity because he is the supreme enjoyer uh, when krishna enjoys the living entity feels happiness when so main thing is krishna's enjoyment the mortal world people seek that they think uh, is ha- what is happiness in the spiritual world love is to give happiness whereas in the mortal world love is to find happiness for yourself Gopi's relation with Krishna was not for sense gratification, but for to give pleasure to Krishna. So I was talking about uh, Parakya Bhav and uh, Hare Krishna and Swakya Bhav. So Parakya, uh, Parakya Bhav, but why Krishna does this? Just to enhance their pastimes, enhance their enjoyment. But they are everybody Swakya. They every, we all belong to Krishna. And Krishna also, when there was uh, this Agasur, uh, when killing of, of Agasur, they were playing in the uh, in the forest, and each and Brahma got bewildered. He was Krishna was eating the remnants of food, what other gopis gopas were taking, and their and his hands were full of food, and there were some chilies in his in between his fingers, and they are feeding each other whatever they brought in their. Uh, even you may call it, but they were enjoying that, uh, that uh, past time in the forest. And Brahma saw, he came on the swan, and I heard that my Lord has come. But how come? He seems like an ordinary, ordinary boy. I don't see any sign of any special that he is the transcendental personality of God. So he thought, let me test him. And then he brought all the uh, calves, or little cows, and the uh, gopas. And he hid him in a cave. And then after some time he goes to there, uh, his own Brahmalo, or not Brahmalo, around there. And he comes and then he sees that everything is going on as it is. He was completely bewildered. Because Krishna transferred into all these boys and calves and their, uh, their clothing and their voice and uh, look in the same way, exactly the same way. And because the, they desired the gopis or the elderly gopis desired that if I wish that I could have Krishna as my son, I could have fed him my breast. The cows were also looking to fulfill their desire. Then he transferred, he did this leela. So he could, for one year he was close to, he was sucking the breast of the mothers, of the other gopas and other children and cows were also doing this. And this pastime continued and even Balramji could not understand. Then Balramji saw that uh, that cows are running to feed their children because those children were were Krishna and they were running. They tried to stop them. They would not. They could not stop them. And so they were very much and, uh, amazed that they, previously they were uh, they were feel the command of their. Uh, but now they are not even listening or anything. And they were trying to do the sticks. They were stopping them not to go. But anyway. But when the so to take care of the cows, they go down. And when they see the children, then immediately load them, embrace them, as if they are their own children. Because that was Krishna. Krishna is the soul of everybody. And Krishna is more dear than it. But because our contaminated mind and heart, uh, we cannot understand. And that's why there is no law in chanting or taking care of him. Uh, so, Raja Gopikas are not different from Krishna. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Jeeva Tayakari Swa Parashat Sriyadham Sahavatari So, Krishna uh, uh, appears in the material world to attract us and this is in Ladini 
शक्ति देर आर लादिनी दिस राधा रानी इज महाभाव स्वरूपिनी वॉट इज महाभाव भाव मीन्स इमोशंस दैट इज भाव एंड बट कृष्णा इज द एसेंस ऑफ लादिनी शक्ति इज लव ऑफ गार्ड हेड द एसेंस ऑफ लव ऑफ गार्ड हेड इज भाव आर ट्रांसीडेंटल सेंटिमेंट एंड द हाइएस्ट पीच ऑफ द भाव इज कॉन महाभाव श्रीमती राधा रानी इज द पर्सोनिफाइड embodiment of these three aspects of transcendental consciousness so when gopas were in this way then garuda muni said that this is a very auspicious time and you should marry means it was they were all krishna then marry all the gopis to this boys so all the gopis of the vraj were married to this boy uh, all the gopas but they were krishna and so there is no parkiya it is all there anyway just from they are all belong to krishna everyone belongs to krishna and he wants in this uh, uh, this clothing that he wanted to complete surrender not covering something not hiding something but full surrender that's what krishna wanted so radha krishna ek atma dui deh dhari uh, anyonne vilase ras aswadan kari radha and krishna are one and same but they are assume two bodies thus they enjoy each other tasting the meadows of love one need great spiritual insight to understand the mystery of these two personalities one is enjoying in two sri krishna is the potent factor and shrimati radharani is the internal potency so there is no difference between the potent and the potency they are identical there can, uh, we cannot differentiate between one and the other any more than we can separate fire from the heat fire from the heat or sugar and the sweetness you cannot separate them it is there so same thing uh that uh, krishna and radharani they are not separate uh, maha only mahabhavas devotees they can understand this uh with so we have to take the help of mahabhava devotees like we have our guru parampara uh, the very name radha suggests that shrimati radharani is eternally the topmost mistress of comforts of sri krishna she is the medium transmitting the living entity service to sri krishna so Uh, how she was born and so she came from ras mandal ras mandal is a part in the spiritual world ras mandal and on one side of the ras mandal there is a mountain called satashranga satashranga uh, thousands of shikhar sar there uh, so this mountain in the bhulok is called govardhan so krishna or uh, radha rani was born in her birth is from vindhya mountain and although we say father and mother as varsha bhanu and kirtita sundari but father is really uh, this vindhya mountain he saw vindhya mountain so like not in the himalaya that uh, he worship lord shiva and then he got a beautiful daughter by name uma or parvati and then they were married but he also wanted to have a better or more beautiful da- daughter then uma so he worship uh, par- lada brahma for long time and he gave the moon tatastu you will have so from uh, from this uh, vindhya mountain there were eight daughters and chandravali and radharani and at the same time this kansa orders putna to kill everybody who is about 10 days old and uh, so he heard putna heard about this so many children are born to vindhya mountain she goes there and at night time she picks them up by her mystic power and then she goes so when she comes to uh, raval raval is the place we have dr raval here <laughs> so he must have some connection with that uh, that village so anyway so he goes there and uh, so she the radha rani and sakis became so heavy that she could not hold this uh, who uh, this putna so she dropped radha rani at a place in the place of yamuna yamuna just goes inside and make a, and there was a golden lotus flower and big seven thousand petals and in the the center soft bed is there and she drops in her there it is all krishna's mystic power and he is the whatever he thinks it happened so she comes there and then 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 varshabhanu was meditating and he saw this beautiful girl he goes to and brings her and gives it to his wife uh varshabhanu kirti das sundari and they were very very happy but only thing that she would not open the eye and she would not even speak even would not giggle laugh 
so they were very much worried. So they invited because of such a beautiful girl is born. So they invited neighbors Nanda Maharaj, Yashoda, Krishna, Balram, the Rohini Mata. So they all go to that place and then Krishna sneaks to the cradle of Radharani and he tries to uh, climb the cradle. She, he touches the Radharani's beautiful body and immediately, just by the touch, she understands that it is my beloved Lord, Krishna is there. So she opens her eyes. So she first thinks, uh, sees Srimati Radharani. And then she also laughing and smiling. And everybody hears and they run to the cradle that there is a Radharani. And now she gets, she's not blind and, and she also speaks and does everything. So also we should also in the morning time we should run and uh, to see the form of Krishna. We should go to the Diti temple room or where there is picture of Krishna. We should keep our house should be with uh, decorated. There's at least one picture should be there in every room should be there and you should see just like Radharani is showing that she would not open the eye for quite quite some time almost a year and, uh, but when Krishna came she opened the eyes so how high her name Radha so there is in the Shatashranga mountain is in the spiritual kingdom and is the spiritual kingdom is better Krishna likes where does he like the spiritual kingdom or this Vrindavan or Raj which has more importance and why Krishna always looks forward to come to Raj because there is pastime like Vatsalaras and they are gopis and they play but there is no uh, like demon killing is not there. Um, the demon is not killed by Krishna anyway but uh, so it's the same Ras but here they find different Rasas also and Krishna enjoys his pastime sucking breast of Yeshura Mata or having a uh, Vatsalya Bhav or friendship. So friendship is there, but here it is a bit different and Krishna looks forward. So from here, he goes to another, another planet, another planet. So Raj is not only in this Brahman, there are millions of Brahmandas, but he goes to another Brahman and takes birth again, child. So he enjoys from one to another, continues. Just like Iskand temple, uh, there are so many 800,000 temples. So at every moment you could see that there is Mangal Art is happening, Shangar Darshan is there, because the time is different. So same thing Krishna goes from here and his devotees come and serve him like somebody who is a little bit developing. So get trained before going to the uh, Guru Vrindavan. They are trained in places where Krishna is taking his birth and playing his, uh, his pastimes. So, so from Ras Mandal, she reigned to serve the Lord by picking flowers. She is known as Radha. Radha means coming from Ras Mandal. Dha means from... Uh, Dhavamana. Dhavamana means running. So she was running to Krishna. That's why she's called Radha. Also, when she saw him very enthusiastic to enjoy, enjoy means Raman. Raman means, uh, that is also Ra. Ra comes that's from Raman. Raman means playing. Uh, each. So that playing part. And, and then she's running. So that is also called Radha. So Radha name is there because she's running to Dha means Dhavamana. Running. And Ram is from Ras Mandal. She came to play, and then also I say Raman also. That is so Radha Purna Shakti, Krishna Purna Shakti Man, Dui was to Bhedanai Shastra Praman. That there is Radha and Krishna, they are non different. Krishna is manifested as an, in an unlimited number of Bhagavad Swaru. Radha, like Radha came as I told you, that Radha is coming as uh, Queen Sabdwarka, Radha is coming as uh, Lakshmi's. So same way, uh, so, Radha, so Krishna also expands in many unlimited number of uh, uh, rupas. So Krishna is Brahma Suru and beyond Prakriti. In the same way, Radha is also Brahma Surupini and beyond Prakriti. So I talked about so Ras, to get the Ras, Krishna expand. Rasam Hevayam Labdva Anandi Bhavati. He expand uh, uh, Rasovaisa in so many relationship and parkia relationship he he likes that and because it could be Prabhupada used the example that if you are married and then the if wife has some relation with some another man she would be very careful in her work and always uh, 
So same thing, like very careful that nobody suspects that she is Samdavan. But uh, so there is many rasas, many bhavas, they come and Krishna enjoys that. The spiritual law of God is, is above everything mundane. The gopis superficially seem to transgress the codes of mundane morality. This perpetually puzzles mundane moralists. Therefore, yoga maya acts to cover the Lord and his pastimes from the eyes of the mundaners. Uh, is confirmed in Bhagavad. Bhagavad Gita. Naham Prakasha Sarvashwa Yoga Maya Samavrata. Yoga Maya covers the eyes that we cannot understand this pastime unless you are pure. So also the Rasilila is essentially to induce all the fallen souls to give their diseased morality and religiosity and to attract them to the kingdom of God to enjoy reality. A person who actually understands what the Rasilila is will certainly hate to indulge in mundane sex life. For the realized soul, hearing the Lord's Ras Leela through the proper channel will, re will result in complete abstinence from material sexual pleasure. That's why Krishna is saying, Sarva Dharman Paritya Maam Ekam Sharnam Raja Aham Tvam Sarva Papi Bhyo No Shikshami Mahasuchya Let you pure all the religiousity. Yes, this mundane religiousity. Varnasham Dharma or many, many religions that we see some giving some gift or donation or studying so much or reading so many books or it is you have to surrender to Krishna, you have to become part of Krishna and that is the reality is that Krishna came to establish Dharma Svastapanartha and Samdhavami Yogi Yogi. That is just the beginning of our, to understand Krishna but in reality uh, this Dharma that what we call it like Varnash that is not the real Dharma, the real Dharma is to love Krishna, to serve him to think about him. So, so there is a great increase in the value and unwedded conjugal mood. Such love is found nowhere but in the in the Braj. This mood is unbounded in the damsel Sabraj, but among them it finds its perfection in Sri Radha. So anyway, some stories about Srimati Radharani. I told about her birth, her, her blindness in the and how she meets Krishna. And there are many stories about uh, uh, this Kusum Sarovar appearance. I don't know how much time that I have. Ramchandra Prabhu? Ten minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can add any question, comments, or whatever, criticize, whatever you can we can talk later on. But just few stories, four or five stories. So in beautiful forest of Vrindavan, in the presence of their beloved Radha and Krishna, the gopis were collecting the flowers in the basket. But due to the commotion at the one point of flowers, they fell down in the ground. And so Radharani is asking Krishna, what should we do with these flowers that has been fallen? And then they pick up more flowers, more they fell down. So Krishna says, let me wash them and I will make in the bread, bread of Srimati Radharani. So I would like to rinse these flowers and use them to decorate your hair. So, so she understood the, I means Krishna understood the mood of Radharani. She did not want him to leave her so long. So Krishna with his flute dug uh, and then the Yamuna and other rivers they came and filled up. So Kusum, kusum means flower. Kusum means a fool or flowers. So they, Kusum, everybody knows about it in the Parikrama. Uh, you see that Kusum Sarovar. So, so Krishna calmed and braided Radharani's hair and then decorated it with the flowers. While Krishna was decorating her hair, Radharani held a mirror in her hand in such a way that she could see Krishna's face in the mirror. In this way, Radharani enjoyed the darshan of Krishna while he enjoyed styling her hair with the flowers. You may say that how Radha, Krishna is serving Radharani, but that is both are God and each other they serve. Krishna serves Radharani, Radharani serves Krishna and in this way, like gopis is still Krishna's blanket one time. So these are, I will just tell in very, very short, in just one or two lines. So there was like Krishna is grazing the cows and then he had his blanket. So he left the blanket there, but then the gopis, they stole that. And then they are, so Krishna comes to Yash Yashoda Rani and just comes that my gopis has taken and they say that it has been eaten by cow. Can the, <laughs> this blanket could be eaten by cows. So in this way, they, they joke and they enjoy. Uh, not cricket and all these games, normal games of the villages is far better. Uh, and so many ties that you collect, whole house full of ties. What is the use of them? It does not give you love of God. 
they really it should be reality i never had a tie in my or no la, no water no light no telephone no tv nothing was there but i enjoyed all that i still long for those days when i was in a village born in a village and playing gulli danda or kho kho or kabaddi or rassa kassi or those are even more far better than all this uh, <coughs> Uh, one time uh, we were visited by uh, one who printed so many books chaitanya charitamrita rameshwar maharaj he came and he really was criticizing about so many ties and what is what what is this they should have some normal games which are done in villages they are more relatable even kushti like two boys boys or girls just fighting each other it give them more energy and more loving relation between the two rather than just with the ties and your mind is absorbed in that attracts you so much in this uh, anyway uh, so ananta shai they wanted to see then krishna showed them on the side this one time krishna was playing the flute then he kept it down then gopi is they stole that flute and then they are complaining that no no not gopis that krishna this jatila and kutila are they bad girls or bad women or they are good jatila and kutila uh, jatila the kutila jatila is the mother in law of krishna and kutila is the sister in law uh, so are they doing their activities nefarious or good what you will say good in what sense because they in, they they increase the mellow of krishna right right they know that's correct okay so manish you are right in that sense so so they went and then uh, the so she heard about the talks between uh, jatila they heard that there is a, a talk between <coughs> krishna is there inside the room she wanted to uh, all catch uh, range haat hai na and wo uh, pakadna chahti thi to wo unhone the achievement into the room and krishna was gone by his mystic power but his flute was there he said oh look the flute is here now i will tell everybody so she goes out outside and shouts that krishna was there see i have her flute that is the proof uh, but then they uh, they would uh, they go to the not yashoda bhai this uh, uh, who is the oldest one purnamasi so they said that so they, he say, she said that oh what happened so there was rain overnight of the flutes so many flutes were raining so and that's why one flute came came to that room so don't think that uh, that krishna was there but it is the rain uh, from there uh, so so krishna's fun with shrimati radharani radharani and krishna plan to have a swing past time so he puts this rope on a high branch and then bring it down and then he put uh, radharani picks up the radharani and puts on that swing and then he leaves that branch and it goes up in the air and then she cannot come down he is singing her just to embrace her and put her there and just see the joke and her anxiety and it is a pleasure for krishna uh, and so seeing this thing like uh, uh, this uh, uh, rupa goswami he was meditating on this joking of krishna and radha he was meditating on them and then one lame man came and then he said so he did not laugh for the lame man but he was uh, this rupa goswami laughed on this krishna's pranks that he does so ravanath das goes with this this man become very angry that he is laughing at me he was not laughing at it but immediately he felt that uh, uh, that he is laughing at me and because that is a kind of vaishno aparad so he stop he could not see the past time uh, further uh, that what is happening in the means pure devotees can see the past time what is happening in the spiritual kingdom also they could meditate so when narottam das thakur and they could see all this so shamananda pandit he go went all the way to radharani radharani he gave him the betel nut that was chewed by shrimati radharani that she did this leela champak unka ghum gaya tha nidhi van mein and then he found that anyway so this man was became like that he is laughing at me and that he felt it is like a aparad and he did not see so he went to his elder brother rupa goswami's elder brother is sanatan goswami so you were most to sanatan goswami and sanatan goswami said that you must have made some offences so we should be very careful about vaishnava aparad so 
Sanatana Goswami said that you don't know who, who is that person to whom you offended because he was in meditation. So Sanat, so Sanatana did invite everybody. So he invited for a feast. So he prepared a nice feast and invited. But that man did not know why I should go. He's laughing at me. I mean, that man does not mean that uh, I'm not a human. Means he should not have laughed at me. But it was not true. He did not come. <coughs> Sanatana Goswami says that now go and see in the village that who did not come. So they found out that this man did not come. So he begs pardon. So only the offense whenever you have offense made to anybody, then beg pardon from them. Be very humble and fall down at his lotus feet. Because if they are devotees, they will forgive that. We don't have to worry about non-devotees, how much, what they are feeling or that is different thing. But at least with the devotees, you should have a very relationship, very uh, loving relationship, like so Gopeshwar Mahadev I told you, so one day Radharani was dressed very nicely by the gopis and decorated, but they did not put kajal, but then Krishna came along with that, uh, so she was seeking Vishakha's kunj surrounded by her gopis and so they, they went to apply the kajal to Radharani and they heard the sound of Krishna's flute so Radharani immediately ran she did not care about that whole decoration has not been done. So they come there. So he, so Krishna is inquiring that uh, why the kajal is missing. Uh, then they replied that we were decorating Radharani and we were almost finished with her, except for applying the kajal on her eyes. So ra right at that moment, she heard the sound of flute. So immediately they both want to meet each other. So much so that whatever it is, any obstacles cannot obstruct them. She immediately left even though uh, we requested her to wait and finish. So Krishna was very moved to hear about the loving affection of Radharani had for him. He asked the Sakhis for the Kajal. And when the Kajal came, he affectionately applied the Kajal on the eyes of the Radharani with his own hands. Krishna held a mirror in front of Radharani. There is still that pastime is shown uh, near the, uh, this cone. They call it some name. Uh, this uh, pul pet kund is uh, Kusum kund. Near the Kusum kund, there is a temple uh, where Krishna is applying the kajal and he is decorating her hairs. It is all there. And I exactly don't know the exact name of that uh, temple. It is temple is there, and one Gujarati lady is there. She is serving, gives prasad, and explains about the fast time. She is looking on the kajal application by a mirror. But really she wants to see not her eyes, but she wants to see in the mirror Krishna was decorating her hairs and combing her hairs and uh, applying kajal in her eyes. So Krishna, this is the last past time. Uh, one Mali, the forest gardener. One Mali, uh, so Krishna goes there and then people, they pick up these gopis, they pick up the flowers and he says that I am the, uh, you are thieves. Uh, you are stealing my flower. I worked very, very hard in my garden. This is my garden. And but then the gopis, the, the, so the gopis they introduce Radharani. Do you know her? This is Sri Radha. She is the queen of this forest. That is why she is known as Vrindavaneshwari. She is the mistress of this forest. This forest belongs to her. So Vanmali replied, "These flowers are the result of my hard work in this forest. I have full ownership over this forest." So there were some quarrel between these two. <coughs> <coughs> one Mali and Radha Rani's Sakhis. So she did not recognize that this one Mali is Krishna. She looked bewildered and remained silent. At one point, Radha Rani saw a flute tucked in his cloth in the west and she recognized. So she cried out, There is no use of arguing with him. He is not one Mali, he is one Bihari. Mm -hmm. So uh, he just travels in the one, just to look for us. So, so they were enjoying each other. Then, Krishna receives a special arm and sometimes a snake and kutila. So there are many, many pastimes. You could all read. Uh, there are two volumes of this uh, Radha Rani, Shrimad Radha Rani by Roshottam Swami. And I told something else also. There is also Srimati Radha Rani by Radha Govind Swami. Very nice book. Very small. You could read this. I was thinking of reading, but there is, we will talk something with you more. Uh, so that also gives us quite a many. Radharani is the Param Satya, Paramahima Mahishri Radharani, 
does not meet me and uh, never give me <coughs> darshan, but uh, he may make me suffer like anything and then he's playing with his other gopis in front of me uh, like chandravali why they have this chandravali just contrast what they could enjoy krishna could enjoy just by his enjoyment she's the another like one side is another one side is chandravali chandravali is warm warm uh, mood sulky radharani sulky man karegi uh, she would not let Krishna come sometime in his grows, but she is very mild Chandravali. So these two contrasts makes the, their mellows increase. Uh, so she said that he is my Pranath, my Lord of my heart, and whether he gives me happiness or not, but he is only, uh, there is no one else other than Mata uh, Prananath to say, no one else, my, my Pranath is Krishna. So that is the feeling, and uh, so we could also make Krishna as our Pranath. And even, even for getting the Raj, even Brahma, Shiva, they want to take the Raj, so they want to take even this uh, Varaspati's uh, Uddhav, is Varaspati's uh, uh, disciple. So they all want to become like Kulma, Lata, Aushadi, Trang, Grass. So at least when Gopangana, they walk, then their dust may fall on their head in the, this grass and all this. So Uddhav was sent. Uh, by Krishna to teach, to, but really he was, uh, you may say, he was uh, jnani, very much knowledgeable. He was disciple of uh, this, uh, or, <coughs> disciple of, uh, I mean, this, uh, uh, the guru, guru of all the demigods. Uh, so, Vraspati. Yes. So Avda was the disciple of Vraspati. So anyway, he was so knowledgeable, but when they saw the Radharanis and the gopis praying for Krishna, when he gave up all his knowledge acquiring mood, uh, means he was sent to pacify them, but he rather than he learned from the gopis how to love Krishna, how you become a lover of Krishna. So by this all uh, things that we understand that how Radharani is important, knowing about her is important, how she surrenders, and we should really walk on the footsteps of uh, uh, all the gopis. Aradhyo Bhagwan, Rajesh Tanaya, that we should aradna, is puja, ar, ar, the, Rajesh, Rajesh is Nanda Maharaj, Tanaya means a son, Rajesh Tanaya, Tad Dhamu Vrindavanam, their Dham is Vrindavan, Ramya Kachi Dupasana Vajivadu Vargyanaya Kalpita, that how all the groups of gopis, they worship Krishna, so we should also do the aradhana in their footsteps or in their mood. Uh, Srimad Bhagavatam Pramana Mahmalam Prema Pumarthaman Prem is above Dharma Artha Kamoksh. These are all material. Dharma means Varnashan Dharma. Then you earn money. Then you enjoy, calm, fulfill your desire. And then you want to get liberated and worship, become Krishna. But that is not the true, true Dharma. Prema Pumartha. Prem is the most. <coughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matavidam. This is the mud, and this is some and substance of whole Chaitanya Chaitama. Sri Mahaprabhu Matamita, Tatra Dharo Napara. There is nothing higher than that. Uh, means to worship Krishna in the footsteps. We are Gopi Padatamadoyo, Dasa Dasa no Dasa. We are very far away, but we are at least even millions of miles away, but we are Dasa Dasa no Dasa. That is our position. So we should never get Pabda, we should get Shanagati. <coughs> And Sharanagati, there are six steps. I would not go in more details about that Sharanagati. But thank you so much for your attention, for giving me time. I thank Ramachandra Prabhu for inviting me. Uh, Madhupati Prabhu was also saying, come. But I thought that I, <coughs> I would rather come here. So thank you. And if there is any comments or questions about Srimati Radharani, and we could pray to her on her special day to engage us in loving devotional service to Krishna. That is the aim of our life. Our life is not meant for uh, 
enjoying the material world or remaining here for a long time, even the lava mata sadhu sangha, sarva siddhi So even just a merit of sadhu sangha, they are all sadhus coming here regularly, whatever different level, but that is what we should do is to have a sadhu sangha by coming, temple, chanting, kirtan, everything. And usually we will give our gusty desires to enjoy the material world, but we would like to enjoy Krishna's association. Thank you. So, anyone has any questions? Everybody knows. <laughs> 